Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GiveMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to talk about TrueNAS Mini XL Plus. This is it. Let's get started. First off, I just want to say this is a wonderful full machine and we're going to use it in one of our projects and let's just take a look at the website and show you what we're getting here. Alright, here we go. Here it is, TrueNAS Mini. As you can see, this is the bigger one. So we're going to go down here and take a look at the specs. So base model, no, no drives. You can get this for 1400 bucks. That's a pretty good price. And what, what do you get for all that? Well, that's a wonderful thing to say. So you get uh, eight bays of three and a half inch storage, one bay of two and a half inch storage that's removable, and then you get internally another bay. You can have up to 127 terabytes of capacity in this guy with the uh, AMD with the Intel C3758 chip in here gives you octa core and up and it comes with 32 gigs of ram upgradable to, to 64 and check this out you get two 10 gigabit ethernet ports and one dedicated ipmi port and you can also optionally put a pci express card in here for sfp plus and uh, you also get on the front panel two USB ports, one 2.0, one 3.0. And on the back, you get two USB 2.0 ports. So let's take a closer look at this guy in person. Here it is. Now, first off, I've already got the sides off of this and look how clean that is inside. Yes, that's nice. This is one side and I'm gonna roll around here and take a look at that. That is the other side you will see here. On the top is the internal two and a half inch bay and they don't really tell you about this but take a look at that there's another spot that you can put another drive in however there's a SATA port SATA cord here but not one here so you will have to do a little bit of extra work to put in an extra drive there but worry not the motherboard has free SATA ports available on it so you can actually use that port now let's open up the front and take a look there so, going from the bottom, you have four three and a half inch, moving on up, four more three and a half inch, and then at the very top, a two and a half inch drive you can hot swap will move out. And then of course, there are your USB ports, the 3.0 and the 2.0, and then you have a power button and a reset button and some LED indicators. Closing that up, you also notice down here there's a grill and there are two fans Pulling that air in. So, taking a look right here, you get the fans, and they're side by side, pulling that air in the back in there, and exhausting it out the back fan. Here we have a nice back fan here, and plus, here's your power supply with its fan. And down here, you have your USB ports and the IPMI gigabit, and then over here you have two. 10 gigabit ports. And then finally, you can connect the VGA monitor up to this guy. Looking on the inside down here at the bottom, you will notice that there are two sticks in this, which gives us the 32 gigs, but there are also two more slots so you can add another 32 gigs of RAM. Looking at inside there, you can also see that the heat sink for the CPU and fan is relatively low power and, and uh, short. So it doesn't, it's not, uh, you know, this isn't meant to be a powerhouse server to do a whole bunch of virtualization or anything like that. So this is a NAS and it is a good, powerful NAS. Moving on, if you look right down here, you're going to see the M.2 NVMe SSD that's in here. It comes with, I believe... And it says, looks like a 250 gig SSD. That's pretty darn good. So that has your operating system on it. In this case, TrueNAS. And it is going to do everything you need and fast. All right. So that concludes the internals and the externals of this guy. We're going, you've seen me do the uh, operating system. Take a look at the web interface to this and all that good stuff. So if you're familiar with it, or if you're not familiar with it, go ahead and check out some of my other videos on, on TrueNAS and how to use it. 
but this is hardware from TrueNAS and it is a great deal. Um, so go ahead and check it out. You can go to their website and purchase it. You can go to Amazon and purchase them. Um, if you go into my links in the description of this video, I have a link to the this particular unit using my Amazon affiliate link. So that doesn't cost you anything, but it does help me out a little bit using the affiliate program. So I encourage you to help me out a little bit on that and when you buy yours. Otherwise, you can also help me out by purchasing a coffee tube for me. Yes, that's right. Buy me the coffee. I, so I have links for that and everything. Also, even, even more important, if you uh, find value in my content that you're getting out of these videos, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. I'm Kevin Stevenson with GetMeTheGeek.com, and this has been another TrueNAS video. See you next week.